Continuity, polarity, and insulation resistance. Now we do have a fault on our cable. Someone has put a screw through it. Could be because of building renovations or hanging a picture or whatever. So now there is a fault on. Let's do the checks again, quickly. I can use this meter for continuity test as well. Continuity test, I've chosen the low ohm scale. Join my probes together, make sure my meter's working. 0 0.3 ohms, remember that, you're going to have to subtract that from your result. So continuity and polarity, is it continuous from phase to phase? Yes, point, pretty much zero ohms resistance. Does it turn up anywhere else? Mm -hmm. Earth to Earth. Yes, it's continuous. Yes, the polarity is good. It's in the right place. Neutral to neutral. Oops. Neutral to neutral. Pretty much zero ohms. Good as gold. Now, we change to the mega ohm scale. 500 volts mega ohm scale. And we turn our meter on. Check to make sure that it's working. It should, at the moment, it's very, very high resistance. This is a, what a short circuit looks like because I've just joined the probes together. Meter's working. Phase to Earth. Mm, slightly more than a thousand million ohms. It only has to be greater than one. Phase to neutral. Nearly 2,000 million ohms, two mega ohms. 2,000, much more than we need, much more than one. Oh dear, we found ourselves a fault. That's very, very low resistance, simply because there's a screw through the cable. So it's important that you do all of the tests and know what sort of result, have an expectation what result you're going to get. Continuity, polarity and insulation resistance tests with very obvious faults. Continuity, let's have a look. Low ohm scale. Does my meter work? Yes. Phase to phase. Low resistance. Yes, that's good. Neutral to neutral. That's good. Sorry, that's an earth. Green and yellow. Uh, Neutral to neutral. Uh oh, is the meter still working? Yes, neutral to neutral. What could possibly be wrong? It tells me that the neutral is broken. That's because something cut it. Continuity and polarity tests again with obvious faults. Low ohm scale selected. Does my meter work? Yes. Okay. Continuity. Earth to Earth. Yes, that's good. Phase to phase. Hmm. No. Did it turn up here? Hmm. Mega ohms, that's not important. Look at the meter, it's actually showing mega ohms. Uh, neutral, oh, what's going on here? Right, so it's starting on phase there, and it's finishing on neutral there. It's, conti it's continuous, because it goes all the way through, but polarity is very wrong. Neutral to neutral. Fail, it's 1.6 mega ohms, it should be well below 1. Does it turn up here? Again, 1.6, nearly 1.5 million ohms. No, that's a fail. Does it turn up there? Yes, so it's continuous from one end of the cable to the other, but the polarity is wrong. That's because someone crossed the cables over. That can happen inside a wall, underneath the building, Something strange, so do all of the tests, record your results properly.